So my name is Paul McNamara and I'm the LISA Pathfinder project scientist at the European Space Agency. And LISA Pathfinder, it's a mission which is testing the technologies for the future and where we're going to measure gravitational waves from space and this is the first step to allow us to get there. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time. So everything you see around about is all the air, the space, even the space inside your own body, inside the atoms. When a gravitational wave comes by, that space ripples. It stretches and squeezed as the wave is passing. And so it's carrying a whole new type of information from the universe. So up until now, we've got most of our information coming from light. It might be x-rays or ultraviolet or visible, but it's all electromagnetic light. Now we're out there and we're looking through gravity. So we're seeing the dark side of the universe, the part we've never seen before. And now we can do that through gravitational waves. This last year has been phenomenal uh, in the gravitational wave world. We started off where we had the first ever measurement of a gravitational wave here on Earth with uh, the LIGO detectors, and that was just stunning. We've been hunting for 50, 60 years, and suddenly we get this first measurement. And then a few months later, LISA Pathfinder launched. And this has started measuring gravitational waves from space. So we've waited all these years, and suddenly two buses come along at the same time, and we just it all came over one winter. And it's, the whole field has changed ever since. So the, the ground-based detectors are getting better and better all the time. But gravitational waves are a bit like electromagnetic waves, where we have very high uh, frequency waves, like gamma rays, and we have very low frequency, like the infrared. And the same with gravitational waves. We have high frequency waves, which LIGO can see, and low frequency waves, which we can see from space. And the difference there is that the LIGO detections, so the high frequencies, they're looking for things which are roughly the size of a star. So it might be 30 times, 100 times, or one times the size of a star. Whereas from space, we're looking at the really, really big events. We're looking at things which are millions of times the size of stars, which are smashing into each other and creating the most powerful event ever in the history of the universe, apart from the Big Bang itself. So to me, it's a real privilege to come back to Glasgow, first of all, and then to come to the Science Centre. This is such a wonderful place to have people come in here, especially children come in here to learn all about science. So tonight, what I'm going to try to do is to explain a little bit about gravity. So what is gravity and how that feeds into gravitational waves? And then what we're trying to do with gravitation is what we're going to learn of the universe through looking at its gravity. Basically how we're listening now to the universe as opposed to seeing it. And then we'll talk a little bit about LISA Pathfinder, uh, the fact that we launched last year. So it's been you know, a very exciting year. And what we've achieved with LISA Pathfinder. So uh, as you can maybe tell, I'm from Glasgow. Uh, and so I did my undergraduate degree in the University of Glasgow. And then I was very interested in doing astronomy but I also wanted to do hands-on work. I didn't want to be just sitting in front of a computer. And I went to visit the Gravitational Waves Group in the university, and I was just stunned by it. It was just a wonderful thing. It's this whole new science, but also very much pushing the boundaries of everything we're trying to do. And so I was actually, I think, the first ever PhD student to work on the space-based detector, LISA, primarily only on LISA. And I've just grown from there. So I did my PhD, and I worked as a researcher at the university. Uh, I then I worked at NASA also on space-based gravitational wave uh, detectors. And then from NASA, I came to ESA, the European Space Agency, where I've worked ever since. This is a whole new field of science we've opened up. It's very rarely that someone can actually stand and say, I'm right at the start. We've made the first detection last year, and we're now opening this whole new universe of gravity, things we've never done before. From my own perspective, from uh, the space world, space missions take a long time. Uh, and so we have launched LISA Pathfinder, but LISA, the next generation, it won't launch for, if we're very lucky, maybe 15 years, 17 years. So even someone who's at high school today, they could well be one of the researchers working on LISA when it actually launches in the 2030s. It's a wonderful prospect, you know, it, it, there's a lot of work to be done between now and then, but just this, the, at the end, you've got such an amazing amount of science you can do, something which no one has ever done before. And that's what, to me, that really gets me excited. And we think we understand the gravitational universe. But in reality is about 0.4% of the energy of the universe we know about. It shines, stars, galaxies. 99.6% of the universe is dark. How are you going to see the dark universe? Through gravity. And so now this is really going out there and we're starting to really probe the dark side of the universe. 